to talk, but he not on stage. I ain't taking no from my who ain't heavy. I'm the best, and you heard what I said. Spin out of money, I'm dripping this collar. Got on it, then it's dripping like water. Teaching the but I don't have a daughter. I know me, I can pick up when I call it. Perkin big, and it don't hurt the break, cause I'ma always do it how I wanna do it. Every time you need a do it, Mr. No, I got him running to it. I'ma need to pull the mail before we talk it, that I'm waking up and thumbing through it. Run a like a runner, do it. Stun on her till like a stunner, do it. I'm the best, I'm the best. Since way back in 1973, there's a look at Highmark Stadium just outside of Buffalo, New York. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. They'll start out here with the option left. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. 
In motion, the tight end. On second and 12, Allen out to the left. He's got his tight end, Knox. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And the Bills hit 5-3 and three now on the year. And they come in playing some pretty decent football, 5-3 and three over their last eight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. On second and 12, Allen swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Tried to drop it in there, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. I really don't think you can fault the decision-making here because your offensive quarterback, they really had a big week last week, and you're ready for them to go again here. Not the anticipated result, of course, but you definitely understand why they did what they did. That quarterback's been hot. You want to keep the ball in his hands and see if he can keep the magic going. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory. Down at the 31. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got a man that's caught left sideline back-to-back -back receptions for him and it's another first down really been an ideal start for them they get the turnover on the opening possession now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive and that feels good but you know on their side of the field all they're thinking is finish this drive off because touchdown Dolphins a great effort there Touchdown number 22 on the season. And the Dolphins have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. The slot man in motion right. On second down, Cook. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 
Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, it's Cook. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Gets a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. And now they'll throw with Allen. He'll dump this off to Cook. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second and 12, Allen. Shakir hauls it in. Room here to run. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 34. This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an example of that right there. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. And the stop will come inside the 5 at the 4. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Jet sweep is Shakir. And he'll get in. Touchdown. Khalil Shakir, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays. And this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting in part of this game? Head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. Seven, seven, our score after one. Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good. And 
looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 14-7. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Buffalo. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. Well, let's be honest. A lot of times where they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Dances by him, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second and four. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision.
They go play action here on first down. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to get the football back at their own 17. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw, it's Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. From the pistol, they run it with Cook. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. On second and 11 now. Allen. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The Bills send the punter out. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. This will be taken at the 10. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. They'll start on the ground here on first down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. 
And they do so and pick up a first down. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On play action, they'll throw. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll drop to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he takes it inside to 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in 9 yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. the gun they'll look to throw the quick slant caught touchdown, touchdown Jalen Waddle as the first half is winding down and the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half and I believe they buzz down they're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Back to throw again. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity lost. Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. There he goes, left side. The 30. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. That's your point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Here's Bass now to send it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 
Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Goblin's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Move. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. They'll look to throw now on first down. Open net is Waddle complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Dolphins. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. A fairly short kick from the 14. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. On play action, Allen. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throwing his Allen on third. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Jalen Phillips racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. The Bills send the punter out. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. 
but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards to pick up, first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 67 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good. And ready. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. And at this stage in the game, sure, you wanted the touchdown. You're already in the red zone, but, boy, you squandered a chance to at least get the field goal there. So no points out of this, and we stay tied. Very disappointed team. No one more disappointed than the kicker who thought he had a chance to be the hero of the day. All they had to do was trot him out on the field. They didn't even give him the opportunity. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They run it again with Cook. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And this is Cook with a grab. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big gain of 31 on third down. On third down is very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned it into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Cook up the gut. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready and looked for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? They will look for some important yardage on third down. From here, it would be a 60-yard boot. Fifth 
Throwing now is Allen. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have the Bills first down. It's a gain of 12 on fourth. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. On second and 11 now. Allen. They find some open field here. Touchdown, Bills. James Cook. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bills have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. They're not out of it yet, but in order to come back, they need to play clean football the rest of the way. He makes the correct read there, passing on challenging a blanket coverage and getting the first down with his legs instead. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. He'll look to throw. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. Touchdown! 
An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They start the drive with Cook. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Allen to throw it. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air and Bob ultimately fell incomplete. It caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it. He's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Shakir hauls it in. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Here's second and nine. Here's Cook again. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. Take possession of the football. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions. And a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 95 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Right back to him on first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. from the gun they'll try to run it it'll only be a gain of a yard and it sets up a third down and four now now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game in search of four yards here to pick up the first down He'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That touchdown puts them up six. I would imagine they'll kick the extra point now and rely on their defense. Yeah, rely on their defense. So a little bit of time left on the clock here in the fourth, but they got to feel good now. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Allen. Jalen Phillips in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you